in this video I'm going to show you what's actually on the screen of the Litchi app. I don't think there's a lot of videos explaining this. I know most of it is quite self-explanatory, but I just think it's a good idea to have a guide. Top corner, same subject, more videos you can watch, gives you an idea what I do. And also down below, under my video, there's all the information about this video, what I'm using, what cameras I'm using, music and so on. So we're going to start off in the top left hand corner, FPV, first point of view. Now if you've got an iOS, I believe when you press that you also got an option to do a screen record. Now for some reason, they haven't done this on the Android, and you're not going to get it. <laughs> now you obviously can do a screen saver like I'm doing at the moment for demonstration purposes, but I think this is the only letdown on the Litchi. Uh, okay, so if you've got an iOS device, that's fine, but if you haven't, then I, st I think it's quite important, especially if you lose track of your drone and you lose it, at least with then you've got a screen record. Now with the DJI Go app, it does it every time. Um, why they haven't done that, I don't know. Maybe they're still working on that, I don't know. But for some reason, that's what I'm not happy about. As you, as you press it, it will come up with numerous modes and over the coming weeks I'm going to go for each of these modes to show you what they can do. So by clicking it on again it just turns it off. The next thing along is the satellites. Now it's, as you can see it's changing all the time, it's fluctuating. So it just shows you, you know, just being, by, being stationary, um, it still moves. Well, the next thing to that is actual the controller power so at the moment I'm 74 percent the middle top bar is most important it tells you everything what's going on at the moment with stationary I'm not doing a lot it, now this will change when it's in the air it will tell you numerous things like if you lost signal or if it's flying back home so very important thing to keep an eye on next to order that is the actual signal power from the controller the signal that it's sending out to the drone. At the moment we've got all the bars up which is good. Next order to that it's the actual signal coming back from the drone to your device so um, the picture quality obviously at the moment it's top marks. Now this, this water obviously as you're flying out further away you might get a bit of picture breakup. It's not going to affect the video on the drone but it, it just obviously something to keep an eye on. Obviously next door to that we've got the battery power, now I'm down to 91% so I've got plenty of battery power. Also something else very important to keep an eye on. Now in the, in the top right hand corner, the three cogs. Now this is the settings. Um, I'm not going to go through all this because <laughs> it's just too much so maybe I'm going to do another video on that later on. It's always worth checking through all the settings, going through the general, the camera, the aircraft speech and the key always worth checking it all to make sure it's to your to your liking obviously one of the first things that i always make sure i'm not into metric so i'm an inches man myself so i always make sure that's on just go through it to make sure you're happy with all those sounds but i will bring out a video later on explaining that more so we just click the cross to get it off so we've got the, sim the share symbol sign. Now, I've tried this a few times, and I presume this is to do with a lot. If you want to do a live feed, now I've tried this. And now I'm actually connected to the internet at the moment, and it's I've had this before, so I, I never know if, will that ever work. I I don't really see much point of it myself, but anyway, it's there. Well, the next thing to that is a mask. Um, <laughs> This is the, that's right, I'm just, it's come in, good. Now, it always drops the drone down for some reason when it does that. So I'm just going to put that drone up, that's it. Now, the VR goggles, visual reality goggles, it's worth getting, they don't cost much. You can go to a local market or you can go on eBay or Amazon and they cost about £20 upwards. Obviously, depending on the phone that you've got, 
and obviously the tablet would be no good you can have to, you'd need a phone to put into it um, I've done a few videos on it so just check up in the corner there for one of the vids so we just go into the settings to get rid of that it says exit VR the next thing down is the little button there for on at the moment it's on video I'm just gonna put that back up so you can see what a lovely day it is <laughs> so if I scroll if I move it over to the left it puts the camera on I'll put it back to the video so the little red button if you press that uh, obviously it will turn the video on and vice versa if you put the camera on underneath that you can see the settings now this is one thing I do love about Litchi it gives you a far better choice of camera settings um, I've noticed on some of the DJI Go app mainly the spark and that you don't get a lot of choice but here you get a lot you get a lot more choice I will do a video on that so I'm not going to spend ages going on out for all that it's quite self-explanatory you can have it on raw JPEG video depending on what type of drone you've got which is quite useful so we click off that right in the bottom right hand corner is the actual map this will show you where you are now if you if you touch the map itself it will bring it onto the screen big time and obviously what you see through the video camera is in the is in the little box and if you just touch it again it throws it back now you see a minus sign there you can remove that total and you just get a little cross at the bottom I don't particularly take much notice of the map to be honest but it's obviously useful to have it so we just click that back on right so we're going over to the left bottom corner now this is the actual showing the direction of the drone which is I think it's very useful now I believe with the DJI Go app that's connected actually to the map but if I turn this it will do it on the map as well so yeah there you are just to show you okay now the next four different modes above that you've got the two green buttons and the two blue buttons I'm gonna go out now because these won't work really until I'll get a drone off the ground so watch this space keep watching I'm back on the left hand side of the screen you see the two green buttons and the two blue buttons I'm gonna give you a quick show I've got 33 percent battery left so let's get on with it so the green button at the bottom which I call the uh, American Sergeant Major Stripes now this is all to take off so if I click the green button it will come up take off and when it takes off it will actually hover at that height right I'm just going to send the drone out a minute Right, now if I press the next one, which is the green, which has got the H on it, this will say go home. Now, I'll say OK. Now the drone's going to go up to the height that it's been set at and it will come home to me. Now if I tap the blue bar at the top there, I can cancel that. Right, so I've cancelled that. Right, the next two, the top two blue buttons, one is course lock. Now to apply the course lock, what you have to do is flick down the switch on your transmitter which is into the F position. If you had a phantom free standard it would be the right switch on your controller. Then by doing the course lock you tap on it and it will lock it. I will explain this in another video what they actually do, but I'm just telling you what they are for. So now, the, now it's warning me now about batteries at 30%. Right, the other one is home lock. Now I like home lock because with home lock, whatever way that drone's facing me, by pulling back on my right stick, that drone's gonna come back to me. And then it will stop about, probably about three foot. Just cut the engines. Right, and to come out of that home lock, I'll just flick up the switch again, back to P that's that as you can see now I, I probably didn't describe it but up near the FPV you'll see a, a line 
Now it's just decreasing now from green to red, and once it hits red, aircraft battery at 25 percent, it will return to home as well. So it's another safety device. I hope you found that useful. The reason why I'm doing these Litchi demos at the moment is I've noticed because I've been using the Litchi for a few years. I have, I have to be honest, I've stopped for about over a year, and I've come back on it. The overall screen itself has changed slightly, especially to do with the home lock and course lock. So I just thought by doing these little vids, it just gives us a reminder where plate things are. I don't think they've changed too much of it, but I hope you find it useful. Now the other thing is, I'm not a technical person, and I probably said some of the things that not the correct technical words for. That's me. Now, like I said before, I put a link below with some of the guys that I've um, found very informative. Please check them out. Um, anyway, as I always say, keep watching because there's always vids coming out. I'm carrying on with the uh, the litchi anyway, as it is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show up the course lock and home lock. I think they're so important. Anyway, as I always say, keep watching and I'll catch you on the next one.